being very predictable and um, consistent in your body language towards an English learner. Um, it always has to be open and welcoming um, because they will read your body language before they understand your words. Um, even our more advanced English learners really depend on that body language. Um, and I think that teachers at being human, you know, we have our ups and downs too. We have our stressful days. The kids clue into that. They know when you're stressed. And so being honest with yourself and saying, oh, maybe his behavior is related to my level of stress or, you know, how are they working together and maybe adjusting a little bit.